One of the coolest features of having Copilot in Excel isn't actually accessible through the Copilot button. Instead, it's this analyze data option. If I have uh, a data table selected and I click on analyze data, what Copilot's gonna do is gonna actually analyze data, try to find insights that might be useful, give me suggestions for pivot tables and charts. So if I click on this, it's gonna analyze my data quickly and give me a lot of different insights I may want to look at. So here we've got a suggested pivot table that shows me um, sales by store and salesperson. So if I like this, I can hit the plus button and it'll insert that pivot table into a new sheet. Scroll down and here we've got a chart that shows sales by product. Again, if we like that, insert pivot chart. Here we've got average sales by salesperson. Um, going across by quantity. Now, now, some of these insights may not be terribly useful or make a lot of sense in some cases, but you know, it gives you a lot of diff different ideas as to what you may want to do or how you may want to analyze and, and slice your data. So it also tells us some insights it finds. For example, the average sales by salesperson is relatively even across the store field. So um, it gives us a lot of different um, potential ideas. And there's, there's more results here. So I can click on show all 13 results. It tells me, you know, product C has noticeably higher price. So here it's analyzing products based on their price. So again, I could insert that if I wanted to. Here it's got a really complex chart. We've got price, total sales, average sales by salesperson and by quantity. So that's a, that's a really complex one um, if we wanted to add that one in. Here we've got a frequency chart by sales. Um, it tells us that price and total sales appear highly correlated. So not, not terribly insightful, but it's really cool that it's looking at correlations to begin with. So, I mean, that's a potentially um, interesting opportunity there if it finds other fields that are related to one another. Um, here it tells us total sales appear highly determined by the average sales by salesperson field. Here we've got another frequency, uh, frequency chart by quantity this time. Here it tells us average sales by salesperson is relatively even across the product. Another frequency chart, another frequency chart as well. Here, this one by average sales by salesperson. So if I scroll up to the top though, I can actually ask it a question. So here, I click on here, it'll have suggested questions I may wanna ask. I wanna look at the distribution of salesperson by product, how many different store items there are, and you know, you know, potentially some some charts that I want to create where we've got total price of Rep C over a certain date. You know, I could ask it more specific items such as, you know, what were the top three best selling products? And so it tells us product C, product E, product G. So we've got their total sales. So top three product by total sales. So it correctly figured out what I wanted to do there and created a, or set up a pivot table that I could potentially insert into, into my spreadsheet. It has also suggestions here. So maybe I wanna look at top three in product by average of total sales. So we've got average of total sales. So another interesting insight. Here we we're just looking at total sales, but here we're looking at the average. So again, giving us um, ideas as to how we may wanna visualize our data. Down here, we've got top five in product by total sales. So here we had top three, but here it's suggesting, okay, maybe we want to look at top five. Again, so a lot of different insights and, and ideas, uh, ways to potentially give you ideas as to how you may want to analyze your data if you're not really sure. Um, let's say, which months had the highest sales? Let's ask another question. So here it tells us the month that we have the highest sales. So we look at the date by total sales. We've got other options here. Top year and month of date by average salesperson. Here we've got, again, average average total sales. So a lot of different um, a lot of different splits that um, you know give you ideas as to how you may want to look at your data. Here we've got the top five in year and month of date by total sales. So the top top months in terms of sales. So it gives us a bit more data in there. So by, by playing around with this, by, by asking it different sorts of questions, you can potentially get a lot of valuable insights into your data and give you ideas as to how you may want to uh, report on it or what charts to create, what pivot tables to create. And if you do like it, you do say, okay, I wanna add one of these items in here. I can click on this insert button and it's gonna create a new sheet for me 
with that with that pivot table and now i can adjust it just like i would a normal pivot table so i've got my my table summary in here and it's got And so now I've got it created here just as a regular table. So it's got that broken down. So in this case, it's not set up as a pivot table. This is just a regular table. But if I wanted to add that visual in there, I can do that in here. So in this case, it tells us these are just inserts. So this is different from um, the pivot tables that we had in our other insights. If I actually wanted to create a pivot table, this one here tells me it is a pivot table. If I open that one up, now I actually do have a pivot table that I can ma manipulate and adjust. So if it, if, it says, if it says specifically that it's a pivot table, then it'll add it as a pivot table. But if it doesn't, then it's just a regular table showing a summary. But through this data, through this analyzed data feature, you know, you can, you can go through and go through some of the, some of the initial insights it, it generates for you. Or you can actually dig deeper and ask it, specific questions to find more detailed responses that you're looking for but the analyze data feature is definitely an underrated one in in copilot that you know uh you may not realize that adds a bit more functionality than just going through copilot and you know asking it certain questions because through the analyze data it's basically doing a whole bunch of different things for you at once whereas copilot if you go through um the copilot pane here and just do one by one it's going to be a lot more cumbersome uh, more time consuming, whereas the analyze data feature, the big advantage is it gives you a, a, a lot of different insights all at once. And you can sort of start to pick and choose what you want to add or, you know, give you ideas as to what you may want to ask. So a really cool feature to check out is definitely the analyze data option.